Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, I have one of my all-time favorites. I love cauliflower soup. Roasted cauliflower. There's nothing like it. It's almost addictive. I just want to keep eating it. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to get a roasted cauliflower soup. Got a couple different techniques and twists. I'm also going to have a nice little topping. It's going to be roasted cauliflower as well as a little bit of roasted fennel and some crispy fried capers, which are just fantastic. First things first, you're gonna need to gather your ingredients. For the soup, this is simple. I'm gonna be making a double batch today. My neighbor isn't feeling so hot, so I'm gonna bring her some soup. You can absolutely have this recipe and make less. So we got two heads of cauliflower, olive oil, capers, I have some dried chives, salt, butter, small onion, fennel, reserving some of the fronds, and some chicken stock. You absolutely can make this vegetarian or vegan. You can use vegetable broth. You can use water. I prefer the flavor. It gives it a little bit more body as well. Um, and instead of butter, you can just use oil to keep it vegetarian or vegan if you'd like. I'm going to cut up cauliflower here. I'm going to show you the technique I use when I'm browning and roasting cauliflower. For roasting, I like a lot of flat sides. So I do a lot of slicing. Well, first off, trim off any of this stuff. And then I take my knife. Be careful with your hand. And I just kind of dig into, so the tip is in the core here. And I just spin around and I kind of pop off as much of this as I can. I like doing maybe three quarter inch slabs here, maybe inch. And these on the end, they can go straight into your bowl, break them up, boom, done. These ones in the middle, this is great for making like cauliflower steaks. So now you can go around the edge and you just make little cuts here. And the beauty of this is you have a fantastic side right here, very flat, great for getting browning. Something that's kind of round like this, not, it's harder to get good browning on it. So this, when you're browning it up and roasting it in the oven or in a skillet, this is the way I like to do it. But if you're pickling it, I like whole florets. Yeah, just cut them down three quarters of an inch to an inch, no Michelin stars here. I'm doing a double batch, so second cauliflower. Now onto the fennel. I'm also going to cut that into about three quarters of an inch pieces. Remember, we saved some fronds already. I'm going to get rid of this top little part. And you can just throw this right in with the cauliflower. All right, now it's time to roast. I have a skillet here. I'm going to fit as much as I can in because I'm doing a double batch. Uh, if you're doing a single batch, you won't have to split any up. I'm also going to do it in butter. So I'm going to add about four tablespoons of butter here, and I'm going to start it actually in a relatively cold skillet. I'm just barely going to melt the butter. I'm going to get this in. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to let it steam, release all its liquid. That's going to take about five minutes. And once that's done, I'm going to take the lid off, toss it around and brown it up. Non-stick skillet. You want the browning to stick to the cauliflower and the fennel, not to the pan. By the way, I love putting a little bit of vinegar in this soup as well. I love sherry vinegar here. Who didn't get sherry vinegar? Derek, you forgot it. So I'm gonna be using red wine or champagne. All right, my butter's starting to melt here. I'm gonna add as much as I can. So probably half of it. Just gonna cover it, medium high heat. Let it go for about five minutes. It's gonna release all its liquid. While that's going, I'm gonna chop up this onion. This is going to be part of the base of the soup. Now, while we're waiting, I'm also going to prep my capers. You're only gonna need a couple tablespoons at most. You can do more, you can do less, but you want to rinse them off. So I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons in here, rinse them in the sink, add them dry. Crispy capers are amazing. If you haven't tried them, try them out. They're not great on everything, but they're great on a lot. Mince up some Fennel fronds, this will be a nice topping. Let's check out cauliflower and fennel. Uh, yeah, look at all that. We got a bunch of water released. Let's give it a nice little swirl here. We're getting some good browning. That's what I like to see. So this is skillet roasted. Season it with a little bit of salt. I got kosher salt, three quarters of a teaspoon. All right, medium high heat. Now you're just gonna finish browning it up, stirring as needed. This is gonna take four minutes, eight minutes. It's a good range. I know cauliflower can smell a little cabbagey and kind of like feet, but roasted cauliflower, I love it. I love it. It just smells so good. Getting some good browning here. 
I'm gonna finish this on the back burner here and build my soup. Now to build the soup, I'm gonna do four more tablespoons of butter. Trust me, it's worth it. To get that into my pot, we're gonna saute the onions and the remainder of the cauliflower and fennel that I have here. Melting my butter, four tablespoons of butter in my pot is over medium high heat. As soon as it's fully melted, I'm gonna get my fennel, cauliflower, and onion in. I'm just gonna sweat it, cook it down, maybe get a little bit of browning, but I'm not gonna be too concerned with that. All right, I'm gonna cook this down. It's gonna take five to eight minutes, medium high heat. Don't forget, season it about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and that's kosher salt. So I'm not actually putting any garlic in here. You notice that. I really want the cauliflower to shine. I'm putting some onion, some fennel. That's gonna complement that cauliflower flavor. I feel like garlic, while it adds a good amount of backbone, I don't really wanna take it into a garlicky place. If you like that, go ahead. We're getting right there. You take a look, look at this beautiful caramelized fennel and cauliflower. I'm gonna put it in here as well. Remember, I'm making a double batch. Yes, that it smells so good. Let's get four cups of chicken broth to start. I'm gonna put in a little bit more. I'm gonna put in two more cups. Medium heat, cover it, and I'm just gonna cook it until the cauliflower is nice and soft, and then we're gonna puree it up. While we wait on that, let's make our crispy capers. For our capers, I have a skillet. I have about a tablespoon and a half of capers here. I'm just gonna add them. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons of olive oil and a couple tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna turn it on high heat because I got a small burner back here. And I'm just gonna cook them until they're nice and crisp. It's gonna take about four minutes. I have a wire mesh strainer and I'm gonna pour them into here. And I'm gonna save the liquid and save the capers separately. An important thing to note is you should save some of your browned fennel and brown cauliflower for a topping. So make sure you don't add it all to the soup like I did. Make sure you save some. Now, if you look, you see how they kind of pop open? That means we're getting there. My soup is boiling. I just turned the heat down to as low as it will go. We're gonna cook until the cauliflower is very soft and ready to be pureed. For the crispy capers, I can hear them crackling still, so we're almost there, not quite. There's the timer, you know what? I'm gonna call it. So we got our crispy capers. Get them out of the pan. There's gonna be a little carryover cooking. You don't want burnt. That doesn't taste good. Let those drain for a bit. Check on the soup here. Soup is good, cauliflower is ready to be pureed. I'm gonna get it in my blender here. I have to do it in a couple batches. Puree up this second batch. Look how creamy this looks. Oh, it's fantastic. Can't wait. My favorite part is plate it up. Now to me, this is a perfect consistency for a soup. This isn't a chowder. This isn't a stew, so it is essentially nappe, which I will show you in a second. You can see, drag my finger through it. Drag my finger through it, it leaves a line. That means it's nappe. I'm going to add my fennel fronds, my reserve cauliflower and fennel. I'm just gonna toss this around. I'll put it in the center here, build a little island. Perfect. Now comes some dried chives. Oh, I should have tasted it first. Taste it, so you know whether or not you need to salt it. But remember, crispy capers. Here we go. They're pretty potent. This is definitely a weeknight friendly meal. And finally, I'm gonna use a little bit of that caper olive oil butter here, just a teeny bit. A little bit of a drizzle around. Look at that. You can sell this for 15 bucks at a restaurant. Now remember, if this is a little rich for you, you can always add a little bit of vinegar. I prefer sherry vinegar. You can also use red wine or champagne vinegar, white wine vinegar. Give this a taste. I'm just gonna try the soup a little bit by itself here. Mmm, this warms you from the inside out. This tastes like roasted cauliflower. It's delicious. It has so much backbone to it as well. I am gonna put a little bit of salt in. I think it needs a little bit of salt. Season as you taste it, just savory. It's everything you want in a nice fall soup. And the fennel's not prominent. I'm not tasting licorice here. So I'm gonna eat a piece of fennel, some cauliflower with the fronds here. Oh yeah. I got a little crispy caper there. Pop of briny flavor. There's a little hint of sweetness kind of on the back end. That is from the fennel and I love it. It's not strong anise, but it's there. It kind of carries that cauliflower for you. Thanks everybody for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed the cauliflower soup with crispy capers. If you like what you see, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, YouTube. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope to see you next time. Take care.